my family and I went from complete anonymity to worldwide recognition in an instant, in spite of my best efforts to remind everyone that this was a team effort. We think of it in, in two phases, the event itself, which was traumatic and overwhelming, and then the immediate worldwide media attention, which was equally traumatic and overwhelming. We've been invited to the inauguration. We've been uh, to the Tournament of Roses in Pasadena. We've done all kinds of things, been to Buckingham Palace, and it required each of us to, to rise to the occasion, to stretch, to grow, to be able to be public figures. I was tennis team mom one day, bringing snack, driving them to their away game. And literally the next day we had an event and we were flown there by private jet to this thing. And it's hard to wrap your brain around that. Early on, there was some contention between us because I said, this is going to kill us. I mean, literally kill us. We can't do it all. I don't care who it is or what it is. We need to manage it better. We have reached out to people that have lived these kinds of lives and actually asked for advice on these specific topics. I, he has had lunch with Harrison Ford and said, how do you do this and how do you manage this? Actually, it was very good advice. He said, when you're in public and you need to go someplace, walk purposefully and don't look left or right, don't make unnecessary eye contact and walk like you have a place to go and you'll be more likely to get there unscathed. Well, here's just one box. Pictures, oh my gosh. We received around 50,000 letters within the first month. And on occasion, in the margin of the envelope, someone will have written, Dear Postmaster, I don't know his address, but I'm sure you can find him, please forward. So we joked that we've achieved Santa Claus status, but instead of coming to the North Pole, it comes to our home.